A class action lawsuit has now been filed over a popular hair care line that so many people use. Maybe you've seen those commercials on TV featuring celebrities for WEN hair care. As Stephanie Gosk reports, hundreds now claim WEN products have a startling side effect, hair loss. Okay, so I became aware of WEN by way of a client, and I was actually using it. And this is why I stopped using stuff that people brought in to me. Primarily because of this. Because she did have hair loss, but she was not trying to admit it was a win. But I was explaining to her, for example, what we see right here about CBS 8, that win made people's hair fall out. And that was in San Diego. That was 2015. So infomercials for the popular win hair products are enticing. Using A-listers from Alyssa Milano to Brooke Shields and Holly Robinson Pete. There was actually a class action lawsuit. The lawsuit further alleges that the manufacturer knew about these complaints, but refused to do anything about them, including removing the products from stores. The lawsuit does not specify which ingredients could be to blame for the alleged issues, but does claim that numerous harsh chemicals are present in the formula. Now, before I give my analysis, I just want to point out the purpose of why celebrities are used in commercials. It's not always a bad thing. I don't think that it's wrong for celebrities to receive compensation or even endorse a product. I don't think that's wrong. It's business. But I just need people to understand the purpose of why. So this gave an excellent explanation. This was courtesy of Cultura.com, corp.cultura.com. According to Forbes contributor Steve Olinsky, celebrity endorsement helps increase sales in the short term and bring awareness in the long term. Celebrity marketing is also very effective to mark a major change for a brand, like an introduction of a new product, market expansion, or brand repossessioning. And I want everybody to keep in mind, this is a celebrity stylist. Uh, Holly Robinson Pete was endorsing his products. He has a salon in California. We have actresses like Gwyneth Paltrow. So when you look at a brand, you, it, you are, your eyes are automatically drawn because you see something familiar, somebody familiar. Oh, I know, you know, I remember her from that movie. I remember her from this. Or Alyssa Milano is another example. Brooke Shields was also promoting it. So the hairstylist's name is Chaz Deans, and he came under fire because the sulfate-free cleansing conditioner caused severe hair loss and scalp irritation, allegedly. In actuality, like I said earlier, my client was experiencing issues with her hair, and I don't understand the whole co-washing thing that came about. Like, how are you cleansing and conditioning at the same time? That I never understood that. It just doesn't make any sense. And if you go in and research it, you'll see that's what was behind or what people were alleging made the hair come out. I don't believe he admitted anything. I think that they just settled it was like $26 million. So I just want to give also another example of why some people be like, well, for example, look, he still got this stuff on his website. Like, why would he still have this stuff on his website? Right? Well, and then it's more so why is people still buying it? Well, that's like asking why is people still renting from Phoenix Salon Suites? And this goes hand in hand with brand awareness. So when I'm looking for a salon suite, I didn't feel like doing deep researching. I just knew this lady was on CBS. You know, she got all, you know, celebrity endorsements, you know. So if it's a franchise, at least, you know, they're going to know how to run this facility because it's based on, based on knowledge of a hairdresser. And here we go. I had to make a whole YouTube video in order to spread awareness and get it under control that, you know, it's ridiculousness happening, but because she marketed her brand so well, most people don't understand it. From NBC News, 
This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Another consumer warning tonight concerning a hair relaxer which is called Rio. It's advertised as being all natural, but its results have been anything but that. The Food and Drug Administration has received more than 100 complaints about this product. Scalp burning, severe hair loss, hair turning green even. Rio's manufacturer now has agreed to stop selling it. Okay, y'all, I am sorry. We're going to have to bring this episode to a close because there was so much research involved in the Rio scandal. And although it wasn't celebrity endorsed, it led me to another celebrity endorsed product. So it goes hand in hand with this and I'll explain how next week, inshallah. I hope that you will join me again on that episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that in addition to these episodes on Sundays at 12 noon, I also have articles on my blog that are released every Sunday at 12 noon. So don't forget you can go straight to IamDawnWilliams.com to access the blog and other businesses you might want to see that I have. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And once again, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day on purpose.